Israel is not like the United States. They don't have a constitution. They don't have this kind of really beautiful genius system of checks and balances that we have where, you know, the president can veto the Congress and the Supreme Court has a check on everyone, right? And everyone keeps each other in check. Israel just has a single parliament they call the Knesset, a prime minister that has a lot of control over that parliament because he leads the majority coalition. So basically in Israel, the president and their Congress have a lot more power than in America, historically. The Supreme Court doesn't have the power to say no to them. But over the past 30 years, the Supreme Court has been basically grabbing more power for, for itself under the, these things called basic laws, where they can now say to the Knesset, no, you cannot uh, implement that policy in the West Bank. It violates human rights. They can, they can be, they have more powers to check the majority party. And that's come to a head now because the Supreme Court is perceived as left-wing and sympathetic to the Palestinians. Just like in America right now, the Supreme Court is perceived as right-wing. And the uh, B Benjamin Netanyahu is obviously Likud. He's the right-wing party, and he's gone into coalition with these ultra kind of right-wing religious. Um, and, and so it's come to a head where basically the right in Israel feels the Supreme Court is just expanding its own power and is anti-democratic. And now they want to judicial reform is basically stripping the Supreme Court of the power it's grabbed for itself over the past 30 years. Now, the left in Israel views the Supreme Court as the only protection against human rights violations and violations of minority rights. So the left is feels the Supreme Court is a great defender of Israeli human rights, and the right feels that the Supreme Court is an undemocratic institution that's been expanding its own power for 30 years and now needs to be reined in so that the majority can govern. That's torn apart the country. It's absolutely the number one issue every day, protests all over Israel.